Back in 2014, I was running a film studio here in, in Calgary. And yes, he was. Machiavelli, solid guy, good guy. Read Machiavelli. Anyway, 2014, I was running a film studio here in Calgary. And um, this was the early days of YouTube, before everyone was getting banned. And I'd been introduced to this libertarian who had gone to Berkeley for music. And um, I hired him to do the soundtrack for a short film I was working on. And then he contacted me after the, the short film was done and said, hey, I've been thinking about doing a documentary about Anita Sarkeesian. Anita Sarkeesian is a... She was a low-rent film critic complaining about how every single movie was sexist and racist and all that other SJW crap. And he said, I've been thinking about doing a film and crowdsourcing it which was that was that was new back in 2004 patreon fund me all that stuff was new and i'd actually been looking at all of this i've been looking at fund me and patreon and whatnot <coughs> and for months i've been thinking is there a way i could make money doing this honestly right i mean like there's plenty of dishonest ways to do it but I, I don't want to, hey, give me money. I'm on the internet. Didn't want to eBay. So I've been thinking about this for months. And then Owen, after I'd worked on him, worked with him on my own film project, said, what do you think about doing a documentary about her? I'm like, you know, that might have legs. Like, A, that's that's legitimate, right? Like, people get a product at the end. So nobody can say we were scamming them. Like, we're, we're not being scam artists. We're not mooching money. It's not, give me a million dollars to go to Ottawa or some crap like that. It's like, no, we're actually going to work for this. We're going to make a movie. And then, like a bolt out of heaven, we were planning to release the, I, I, I forgot the exact date, but we were planning to release our proposal, our, our, our Kickstarter. We we're planning to release it at the end of September. And then like three days before we were about to release it, like we'd been plotting this for months. The Zoe Quinn thing happens. Zoe Quinn, five guys. I'm like, shit, strike while the iron is hot. So we've been playing this for months. And we, we launch the Kickstarter. And we get a whole bunch of positive attention. And we get money. Holy shit, we got money. Oh my god, money. Fucking amazing. So we actually pulled the whole damn thing off. We we agreed at the beginning that so we, we were gonna do a monthly thing with it. And we were gonna keep doing the monthly thing until the film was done. And then then our ultimate goal was to sell the film to Netflix or something like that, which Netflix back in 2015 was brand new. And <clears throat> was it like one of the guys I was working with is like second in command to uh, Larry Flint. So we had connections. And so we were basically trying to interview as many people as we could 
about the nature of Anita Sarkeesian, the nature of feminism, the nature of this whole Gamergate thing. So, so like we were planning this thing before Gamergate, and then Gamergate happened like three days before our launch date. And so holy shit, this crazy idea was actually working. Let me see. Let me read these comments. <clears throat> Image is anything. Respect is everything. Uh, that's uh, Grand Theft Auto 2. Luck be a lady tonight. Machiavelli, Machiavelli was based. Never trust a libertarian, especially from Berkeley. Oh, God. Yeah. Who is Zoe Quinn? Oh, no, it was not sponsored by Hustler. Hustler gave us no money. I'm trying to, trying to say that we actually... Listen, I lived in Vegas for a while. And we actually did have some pretty... We had good contacts. Anyway, we spent a bunch of time filming this movie. And then comes the giant disagreement. Jordan Owen decides he hates me. And he, like, our, our backers have given us thousands of dollars. I, I don't know how much. I did not control the finances of this movie. They've given us, given us thousands of dollars. We've been traveling all over the United States interviewing people. And, and by the way, guys, traveling all over the United States, I was sleeping in hunting cabins. I was sleeping in my car. I lived with a girlfriend for about six months. I gave up my apartment. We each got $1,500 a month to live off of while we filmed this movie. And Owen was the producer because he had no experience making movies. I'd been running a film studio while I was in Calgary. And so I was the director. After about what, three to six months into this project, Owen gets really angry at me and decides to detonate the project. Which I respond to by publishing our Skype conversation and everybody turns against Owen. And so Owen and we reunite and we make friends again and we hug and we keep making the fucking movie. And then we are almost done making the movie. And at the 11th fucking hour, Owen shuts off the finances to me. Well, I'm in a foreign country with no source of income, nothing but a car. And Thunderfoot jumps on board and calls me a piece of shit. So this movie that I'd given a good year of my life to, oh, it was super awesome making the movie, man. I like I felt like Jordan and I were. <clears throat> I felt like we were the the characters from Blues Brothers. We are on a mission from God, driving across the country to expose the corruption of the radical left. And Jordan and I might not be in agreement on everything, but we can both agree that we should talk the truth. See, is, is Jordan Owen relay something Benjamin? Not sure. I, I, I can't read that. Oh, man, it was so cool. We met so many cool people. We had really good footage. Dude, I met the guy 
that that built oh shit what's it called I had it on my computer my computer couldn't even run it at the time but I had it on my computer it was I was dreaming about that the other night I was dreaming about meeting that guy and saying wait you're the guy that built that that was the coolest fucking thing that was so cool I loved that thing Windows blinds? No, no, it's something else. So anyway, at the 11th hour, we had all the footage. It was all about editing together a good movie. <clears throat> like like slapping all these interviews together in a way that was a honest so we didn't misrepresent anybody we didn't sound bite anybody but be coherent that everything came together into a package right so like you beginning middle end every documentary is it's exactly the same as Star Wars. Beginning, middle, end. Go watch um, Pink Ribbons Incorporated. is absolutely perfect. Perfect documentary. And if you watch it and you and if you write down where the breaks in the story are, you get a per, per beginning, middle, end. They are perfectly situated. And I was completely ripping off that style of documentary. But Jordan Owen was extremely angry at me because I told him that a girl that had been cock teasing him for five years would never have sex with him and she was abusive and he should find a girl that appreciated him. And man, don't ever tell Jordan Owen that you know more about women than he knows. You tell Jordan Owen that you're better than him. He will hate you for the rest of reality. So because he was the producer and he had control of the budget, he stopped sending me the money. And now we had, we had a intermediary because the first time he blew up the project and I threatened to publish what he had done publicly he retreated and said okay we'll have an intermediary so i contacted this intermediary to say jordan owen is trying to starve me by not giving me the money that he's receiving that i need to edit this movie Jordan Owen wouldn't even give me the email of our graphic artist because he wanted to control everything. So I contacted Sargon of Akkad. I said, hey, Sargon, you know, this whole Gamergate thing that we're both involved with, a lot of people have sent us money for the Sarkeesian effect. And we've, we've hit the editing stage right now. We're not traveling around the country and taking selfies and people are asking, hey, what are you up to? So I said, Sargon, I got a favor to ask of you. And he said, sure, what's up? I said, I can't release a film that's 30% done that, that, that undermines the film. I'm asking you, Sargon, if you will, if I could send you the film that's 30% done and could you give your honest impression? Are we earning our keep? Are we working? If you think it's a crappy film, then go right ahead. Not asking for bullshit. <clears throat> I 
but Sargon, if you think that if you look at what I'm working on and you like it, could you tell people that Davis and Jordan, they're working, I like what I see, et cetera, right? And Sargon says, absolutely, Arini, you're the guy that got me started on YouTube. Listen to him. He posts a video. And he's like, wow, this Sarkeesian effect looks really, really good. I've only, like, it's only, it's developing, but it looks good. Well, Jordan sees this, and Jordan flips out. And so Jordan gets Thunderfoot to take a giant shit all over me, accusing me of being a white nationalist. And then Sargon of Akkad takes down his video, saying the movie looked good, and put up a new video calling me a scam artist because he wanted to suck up the Thunderfoot. And two months later, Jordan releases a movie which is unwatchable, absolutely unwatchable. Four months after that, Jordan uses the Sarkeesian effect Patreon to start giving himself money. And after the first month, like a, a whole bunch of people quit saying, I signed up for Sarkeesian effect, not for Jordan Owens bullshit videos. And then in the February of the next year, I released the entire movie and it's not perfect. I've got zero budget. I am not good at audio mixing but I released the film for free on YouTube. Jordan's version you had to pay for. But by that point, old news. So that's the story of the film. Is there an unreleased cut of my my version? Here's the I'm not allowed to call it the Sarkeesian effect anymore. That was part of the I still owe the lawyer money. Jordan or Jordan Owen sent me a lawyer after cutting me out of the finances. Sent a lawyer. I still owe a couple thousand dollars to that lawyer. My version is available for free. It's called Immersed in Subversion. The audio mixing is not very good. I had no graphic design artists. I whew, probably could have done better. But at some point, it just... I spent six months making zero money off this damn film that I gave up my house, gave up my car, gave up everything for this damn movie. Immersed in Subversion, despite all its flaws, is an absolutely superior version of that thing that Jordan released. Oh, God, man. That's why he ruined it. Because I implied that I knew more about women than he, than he did. And the moment I did that, he swore mortal vengeance upon me. Uh, you know, we were talking about Vox Day earlier. Look up, look up Vox Day writing about the Gamma Male. And how psychotically evil Gammas are. Oh, God, I...